best thing going on. This is the most fun you can have right now in America. Forget your boat, forget your golf clubs. This is where it's at. Let me show you what we got here. We take a regular car, whatever you can find, and then we figure out how to open the hood. Look at this. Mike Brown's kit. With this kit here, this thing flew together in less than a week. Beautiful battery boxes, tops, everything else, charger, and everything cut and fit just perfect. There was only uh, two holes we had to drill, I believe, in his kit. Yeah. And a couple holes going, you know, to the, I don't even remember, yeah. Two holes on the on the engine compartment battery yeah. mount. And then there are a bunch of holes to bolt. But everything was bolting. There was no welding at all uh, to get this in. All right, now in the back here we got we got our batteries here, and we got two in the back here. And right, pop, pop the trunk. Let's see. So is there still trunk space? Oh yeah. Look oh, at look at that. We get the top in there. Trunk and all is that. that. That's the target top. Yeah, there it is. Everything still fits in. There's even room for stuff in here. And he's ready for for duty. Now take a look under here at this baby. That's the. Well, it's not the net gain. It's the advanced DC motor. There's our other two battery boxes. Mike sends along shocks and everything. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to buy anything once you buy the kit. It's all there. This was wonderful, having the stuff there. There's the, our Curtis controller. And uh, what a blast. But their urgent cry for help was undercut by news of corporate excess. ABC News reported the big three CEOs flew to Washington to ask for taxpayer money on costly company jets. It's almost like seeing a guy show up at the soup kitchen in high hat and tuxedo. I'm going to ask the three uh, executives here to raise their hand if they flew here commercial. Let the record show no hands went up. Second, going to ask you to raise your hand if you're planning to sell your jet in place now and fly back commercial. Let the record show no hands went up. Spokesmen for the auto executives insist using private jets is standard practice for security reasons.